try something a little different with this video. Uh, it's kind of modeled after some of those that I follow mostly on YouTube. Uh, they do some things on some other channels as well, uh, but I wanted to try something a little different. Normally it's highlights that I've done for work, highlights that I've done while having fun with some friends, uh, that kind of thing. But uh, the premise is I entered a contest and I won. Uh, I won this. I try and win free passes. Uh, I've tried to win a couple cameras, win this $2,500 camera kind of thing. Um, and I actually won for once. It's exciting. And so because of that, I wanted to do an official, uh, an official unboxing uh, for the channel and for them. Uh, it's through Avo Drones. Um, I've never really heard of them until I started following them on Instagram a few months ago, uh, mostly because of that contest. The drone that I won is the 66 Pro. And so here in a little bit, we'll unbox it. But uh, first I need to plant this tomato plant for my daughter, uh, eight months old, and she's already been given her first plant. Uh, so thank you, North Augusta. I believe it's feed and seed, North Augusta feed and seed. So uh, I'll get that done and then I got to get changed. Uh, I'm not about to do more than this. I just got done doing yard work. So uh, let me get that done and uh, I will see you at the office. Like I said, I won a contest and I've been pretty excited about it since they told me that I won. Um, it actually came earlier this week, so I've been having to hold out a lot. <laughs> I've been having to have a lot of self-control not to open this. Uh, so like I said, it's Avo Drones. A uh, little side note, US Postal Service, I need you to do better. Um, got told that it was gonna be held at the post office, come home, and there it is, and it's already kind of ripped into. So, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. I got my knife, so of course I've got to use work keys. By the way, gotta like the work studio, right? Always helps having something like this. All right. So, what we have here is the Avo. Pro 66, pretty good looking packaging. This says maximum 30 minutes flying time, brushless motors, GPS mode. Um, yep, Abo Pro 66, there we go. From Abo Drones and uh, it says it's got two batteries, the drone 
and a controller. So let's go ahead and get that opened up as well. Different key for this one. Ah. And so it kind of looks like Abbo has taken a bit of a page out of uh, DJI and some of the other manufacturers' packaging. Uh, you know, kind of a nice material, zippered, easy to carry case. So let's go ahead and open this up. Ah, and like I said, this isn't the first time that I'm seeing this drone in person. So all I have to compare this to are the Phantom 3, which is what I learned on, as well as my own personal Mini 2. So those are the two drones that I have flown the most at, and at all. Um, so getting to see this one, a different drone is kind of nice and kind of fun and the controller already looks di way different than anything I've dealt with so far. Get those out of the line. So let's go ahead and see what else we got here. So first things first, the drone is pretty slick looking. I'm not going to lie. This is uh, a little different, kind of similar to what I've seen for the uh, DJI Mavic Pro uh, 2, uh, what they might think the 3 will look like. Um, so let's see, it says unfold the front arms forward and then the bottom arms fold back as well. So that is what it looks like without its battery. Now in this package, it comes with two batteries. Let's see what those look like. There's one battery, uh, probably not charged just yet. So plug that in like that and feeling the weight and obviously the phantom doesn't have its uh, propellers on it it's a little heavier than the phantom the phantom also doesn't have its battery in so um, i feel like it's on par with weight wise with the phantom 3. obviously the mini 2 is going to be a lot smaller a lot wider because that's what it's you know advertised as so far i am very much impressed with this um kind of wish that there was something over the camera to protect it a little bit more uh but it's got a couple sensors on the bottom uh let's see yep got to peel off some residue that little plastic stuff that people like to put over glass and over clear plastic to protect and then this is the controller and you got a couple antenna that stick up little pieces that stick over the sticks they do not seem to come off uh, got a spot for your cell phone oh it expands quite nicely it looks like my galaxy will fit nicely got a couple extra buttons gps camera modes this is probably for the gimbal uh, so there you got a charging port there return to home up power there okay and those actually are made to fold like that also in here what else we got we have well, this could be done a little bit better but not bad we have went up to 150 dollars Ooh, all right amazon thank you uh, operation guide with qr codes uh, quick guide instructions for use a little bit heavier there uh thank you for your purchase from Avo. Oh, we got some sticky notes. Funny thing is, my father-in-law, my father-in-law and I were just working on a project, and he asked if I had any sticky notes, and I did not. And now, I wish I had opened this sooner because I did. Uh, but that's kind of nice. That's fun to have some things for notes and such. And then the last thing in this container, so a couple extra props, charging cord, little tool for taking off the different props we got one at least one prop per uh per area looks like one has come off here by mistake but little plastic pieces to help hold them in so 
Uh, all in all, it's very similar to the Flymore combo that you see from DJI. Um, they obviously come with a third battery, uh, depending on how new the drone is. They also tend to come with a charging hub. I mean, for, I think I looked this up and the retail was somewhere between $250 and $275, depending on combo and everything like that. And so that, um, for the price, just not having flown it yet, I think that this could be a really good starter drone for somebody. Um, again, I haven't gotten to fly this yet. Um, I'll do that in another video where I compare this, the Mini 2 picture quality and all that. Um, try and see what it's like to use this controller versus the DJI 2 controllers I've used. Um, see what their app is like and everything. I mean, you've got plenty of little things to help prepare you. So uh, hopefully in the next video, you'll get to see a comparison and we'll see how well it stacks up to DJI. Uh, again, thank you Avo Drones for sending me this. I'm really excited about it and uh, hopefully I can get a lot of use out of this drone. So uh, I'm gonna see about go flying if, uh, if it'll start firing up out there.